Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 119 of our Enigmatica 6 Expert Let's Play series, where today we are getting our Wicked Altar set up, uh, getting our compacting upgrade going, and kind of sort of fixing our ore issue, our ore processing issue, and uh, discussing future episodes here and stuff, what we're going to be doing, goals. Uh. Welcome back, my friends, to another compact day here in the world of the Andrada. Uh, where I'm in my compact machine here, just chilling, hanging out, uh, mainly because I needed to um, uh, set my button back up here for our controller on redstone mode. Since it's in the compact machine, it decided it did not want to load all my items again. This glitch has been fixed for like, I don't even know when we got refined storage, maybe about 10 episodes after it literally fixed itself, stopped having issues. But now it's back, but it's OK. All I got to do is come in here, trigger the oak button and it works and it may even do it on world load. We'll find out now that I have the button there. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and pop out and leave and see why. For some reason, inside my that compact machine, I have no source. Oh, there it goes. It just uh, doesn't render uh, immediately the amount of source that we have when we change dimensions, apparently. All right. Good to know. Anyway, today we are going to work on uh, well, continuing where we were last episode. Before we begin, though, I want to mention a couple episodes ago uh, when we set up our excavator, I went into Atom and I uh, went into peaceful mode because I was tired of all of the enemies spawning in. And so I went into peaceful mode. That was a mistake. Do not do that. Uh, what happened was, is I went into peaceful mode. And since all of these lovely chunks are, you know, loaded up over here and over here and all this stuff, all of our mobs disappeared. Huh. Literally everything in our mob farm, our withers that we have over there, literally everything, everything's gone. Notice, look, no pink wither. We have no pink wither. Uh, we have our regular wither back because I rebuilt that guy, but I have not gone back and made the pink wither because I completely actually forgot about it. Let's get pink wither. Uh, I need to go do this summon again and redo this whole thing because, uh, yeah, I messed up. So if, if you have area chunk loaded, do not go to the wither. Or do not go to the wither. Uh, do not go peaceful at all. Uh, full disclosure, all the moms in my drig me farm, I did cheat back in because I was not going around and going and finding myself a wraith again and all these things. So I just anything that was hostile, I just I, I, I cheated back in. I, I, no shame in my game here. Uh, it, nothing new was added. We have a thrasher. We got the uh, forgotten guardian. I had a bunch of these guys, so that was easy. Uh, zombie, zombie brute, enderman, blaze, skeleton, weather skeleton, wraith, and spider. And creeper. But yeah, just, just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, I highly recommend not doing what I did and making sure that you don't, uh, you know, absolutely just like, you know, ruin your entire day when you come back to your base and realize you got nothing. You got nothing left. Uh, Samantha the Witty, take care of it, okay? Just make sure I don't do that again. If I do it, beat me up, okay? Just destroy me. If I do it again, just destroy me. Okay, so anyway, uh, I, I meant to mention that last episode, but I forgot. So yeah, I just wanted to, to throw that out there. And then I'll, I'll work on making the pink wither. I'm gonna have to do this whole ritual again. Uh, I was summoning the pink wither and get the fairy blocks. Again, full disclosure, probably just gonna cheat all this stuff back in because I don't feel like making the fairy blocks and all that stuff. And then the benevolent goddess charm. I mean, that's fairly simple and all that, but I'll just, I'll be cheating all this stuff back in making myself the pink wither and I'm, I'm not going to concern myself with it because we already did the work once and it was a, a stupid mistake on my part, but whatever at this point. Um, so yeah, anyway, factory still doing the thing. It's uh crushing stuff up. I think it's doing, uh, it, it's actually gone through the Nebu fairly well and it's working on, uh, like other things like copper. Our backlog is slowly being emptied, except for the fact that there are 13,000 gold nuggets sitting in there that haven't been processed, but <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, God shards wise, we're doing pretty good. Uh, we have about 60 of each and Nebu, we have about 5.6 thousand. So this should be just operating like, it should be doing the thing without any issues, right? Right? Yeah, it's currently breaking something down and then doing the thing. So this has not stopped running. It's it's doing great. 
Uh, but we still want to solve this problem, right? Like uh, 13,000 gold ingot or gold nuggets just chilling in here is not a feasible thing for us to have. Plus, you know, all this uranium and zinc, we want to take care of this. So we're going to work on getting ourselves the compacting upgrade today, at least until we can uh, eventually switch this whole system over and no longer crush all our ores, switch over to um, using our fortune pickaxe and everything. So if we take a look inside of my backpack, we have stuff uh so i did go ahead and get the elder statue uh with our elder guardian spines perfect got that taken care of it was just pedal apothecary easy peasy uh so we have that so we're going to be able to make our wicked altar today uh we also have uh a netherite pickaxe because why not that's i, I think it's going to be a good pickaxe for us to get with two fortune 12 books uh a mending book and an unbreaking five i don't think that these two are going to be necessary because we're going to set it up with um uh, nature's aura field generator and from what i understand that doesn't use durability but i'm gonna put it on there anyway just to be safe and we'll see where we end up with that uh, over here we have the stuff that we're going to need for the mana enchanter for batania uh it's going to require six mana pylons 17 obsidian 10 of any sort of batania flower including glimmering floating regular i went with glimmering blue because it's mana and it's like sparkly and blue uh, and then a lapis block and then that'll get converted over then over here we have all the stuff that we need for our uh enchantment library which is how we're going to turn our two fortune 12s into a fortune 16 and yes i understand that this is overkill with two fortune 12s we'll pull out a fortune 16 and probably still have extra levels available to us inside of the enchantment library but that's okay for this though the only thing we're going to need is a gorilla we're going to have to uh sacrifice a gorilla and i don't believe i have a gorilla anywhere yeah no gorillas and gorilla spawn egg can we make this with the altar of birthing or anything like that no so i think we even looked at that last time so we're gonna have to go find where gorillas spawn in at alex mobs will help us out with that uh, if we use the Alex's mom's book and we find the gorilla, there we go. Uh, jungles, that makes sense. Duh. So if we find a jungle, we should be able to find gorillas floating around. Bananas can be attained by breaking jungle leaves. Gorillas can be commanded. You can actually tame bananas That's, or tame bananas. You can tame gorillas or they can become more trustful and friendly. Maybe they can't be, uh, you know, fully tamed. Who knows? But uh, we just need to go to a jungle. I'm sure I have a jungle somewhere here. It's been a long while since we've done any sort of exploration and leaving of our base area. So I will have to find a jungle. Does a rainforest count? It specifically said jungle. We might have to use our uh, nature's compass to find us a jungle because uh, my map A is being weird. I think there was a jungle over here or maybe... I don't know. Anyway, beside the point, what we're going to do now is work on getting our compacting upgrade portion done. So that way we can do the thing. So in order to get this, we need to get our manufactory halo, which requires a lesser soul gem, which requires our wicked altar. So let's grab my copy paste gadget out of my backpack, my other backpack. And uh, we're going to head where we want to put the wicked altar. Like, I honestly don't know how often we're going to use the wicked altar. Does it need automated? Like, is there things that are you that the wicked alt wicked altar only uses oh i don't think this was i don't think this button was here before um will be difficult to build by hand and then it tells me how to build it by hand i mean it doesn't seem that difficult to be honest with you but copy and pasting is much better um let's see where it is the compacting upgrade the manufactory halo the lesser soul gem is a wicked altar recipe let's see what else is in here the glass hand input so blood magic reaper scythe axe of cleaving don't need any of this stuff i do love the prestigious palm adds plus four to our reach distance we already have a pretty decent reach distance but i wouldn't mind getting it uh this is all stuff that we don't need a dimensional carver no idea what that does looks kind of interesting though pickaxe of inversion yeah so it's literally just the um lesser soul gem that we get out of this okay that's it like so i guess i can set this up make the two things i need and then i i don't need i mean i can make a bunch of lesser soul gems i don't know how many ultimately we're going to need but i can just craft up a bunch of them they're not that expensive uh let's go ahead and plant this down i'm since i'm not gonna it's gonna be a, a temporary structure here i'm not gonna be too concerned i will center it just for uh you know posterity purposes but 
I'm not going to concern myself with, uh, you know, finding a permanent home. It'll it'll sit here temporarily. I guess that's the inputs. Our uh, elder statue is going to sit there, and uh, we just need to pull all the stuff out of my backpack. Bam. And bam. Water. Water source block. Why? Excuse me, sir. I don't. I really don't have any flight capabilities either. A hundred and I don't even know. What are we on? 112 episodes in or something like that? No, we're more than that. 120 episodes almost. And we don't have a uh, flight. Proper flight, at least. That's a plank. That's not going to help me. Go away. Go away, go away, go away. Are these altars waterlogged? Oh, my goodness. I just... All right, let's try this again. I vein mined too much. And we're going to end up right back where we started with water flowing again. Maybe this is a thing. Oh, maybe the elder statue, since it is a, you know, made out of guardians, it, this is what it does. Excuse me, sir. Just like no more water, please. And now we got source blocks all over the place. All right, I'm going to clean this up. I'll be right back. All right, water cleaned up. Jeez Louise. Let's see if we put this other statue down again. Does it does it happen again? No. Okay. Weird. Don't know what that was about. I guess this copy and paste has water. Ray trace fluid false. I mean, it doesn't show any water in here. So I have no idea where water was coming from. But I, I'm going to assume this is a valid structure. I can access the ports and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and sleep. And then see exactly, like, how do we use this? What do we need to do to get this to work? A stone button? Was that a part of the process? Where did I get a stone button from? Don't know. Oh, you know where I got the stone button from? It was on here. Bam. Because of the water and all that stuff. Anyway, let's see. Okay, so Manufacturing Halo is going to require Lesser Soul Gem. That is going to be a Nephthys God Shard, eight Calks of End, and four Spirit Attuned Gems. So Nephthys... I don't remember my numbers, so I'm just going to grab like 16 of each. Uh, Spirit Attuned Gems. Calks of End. I believe that was eight. Then that should be crafting. That goes into the cooking pot, doesn't it? It's been a while since I've had to make any of this stuff, to be honest with you. Uh, manually. And then it was just life essence, four buckets. So we're going to have to come over here to get our life essence, uh, which we have, you know, 65 buckets of. So let's not do it this way, though. Well, that's OK. Let's get a uh, tank, some sort of empty tank. I believe I should be able to do this. This? No, not going to work. OK, uh, maybe I need to put it into bucket mode. Now you're going to work. No. OK, well, I don't want to click up all those buttons and it's four per. So we'll just go back to old base, pop downstairs and do it this route. I guess do it this route because it's going to be like that. OK, there we go. Uh, we can go to factory and then back up to home. OK, cool. So that should be that, and our calks of end should be good to go. Eight of those, perfect. Okay, so let's see how this works. Uh, so we need a total of uh, stuff and things. One, eight, and four. Okay, yeah, my numbers were way off, weren't they? And then four buckets of this stuff. So fluid input port. I'm going to go ahead and just do, no, not intended. Can you pick that back up, please? How do you pick up this? This oh my goodness, I'm making a mess everywhere today. I meant to put it down, but it's in bucket mode, so it didn't go down. So now we just got, you know, blood floating around everywhere. Bucket mode off, now place down. And if I do that, you do drain. Perfect. OK, so it drained into this. I'm going to assume, yep, 30 buckets of life essence. Wow, you hold a lot. Item output port is here and item input port is here. So if I do this. They oh, do the thing. Do you need to be in order? Do I need to read a book? Do I need to pray? That may be what needs to happen. 
Because that's everything. Yeah. Nephthys 8 Spirit of Tune Gem. Just give it a little bit of time with some life essence. There is, I believe, there's a book for this. Masterful Machinery. I think that's what this is called. Oh, maybe I'm a liar. Okay, buddy. I need you to, I need you to, like, do the thing. Uh, this was Masterful Machinery. Structure Projector, Selector, Blueprint. Nothing. Nothing to be said about anything. There's no, like, do I need to give it a redstone signal? If, I, if this doesn't work, then I guess I'll, uh, I'll go try and pop on the Discord and see how this works. Like, ha, do it. Oh, wait. Oh, it did do it. Wait, did it, did, was the redstone signal necessary or did it just do it because I was standing here? Um, alchemy practice. This is a quest. Okay. Where? Eidolon. Alchemy practice. That was just getting the lesser soul gems. I know that there was a quest for the, um, wicked altar somewhere it, because as I was getting the items, it was completing stuff, but I don't remember seeing this anywhere. That's a Gaia reactor. Huh. Now I want to know, like, what caused it to work. I just need some more calks of end. If I put one, two, three, four, and one of you, like, did it just take time? Or is there something special to it? Well, while we're waiting for those calks of end to come, we'll come back to this. I turned this off just to see if maybe that is the thing. Like, you need to give it a redstone signal to work. Maybe I have to right-click this. I've been clicking everywhere and doing things. So we'll see what happens. But that lesser soul gem now allows me to make the compacting upgrade. Uh, so we should be able to just... I, I'm pretty sure last episode I taught the system how to do this. So if I say compacting upgrade, yeah. Go ahead and craft me one. It's going to do all the things that'll teach you crafting blueprints and paintings and all kinds of fancy fun stuff, but we're good to go. With that, though, we can also get our prestigious palm. Now, that goes into the charm slot. Do I have anything currently in my charm slot? I do, my sleep charm. That is kind of handy. Granted, I have more my inventory space and everything. I don't think the, the sleep charm needs to actually be in our inventory. I just love increased reach distance because like if I want to interact with that block from here, I don't have to move. I can just do it. Um, prestigious Palm. Yeah, it's my favorite item from this. Wicked Weave, Void Reagent. The only thing we don't know is Wicked Weave. Um, Potion of Spell Damage. And we'll get to it later. All right. So that's the compacting upgrade. And then in order to upgrade that to advanced, in order to do what we need to do, we have Strieger's Higher Binding, uh, which is a obviously Strieger's Higher Binding ritual. We have that set up downstairs. I have all the stuff we need for it. So we'll, once we get this, we'll go do that and install it. And I'll probably just do that off camera. That way you guys don't have to watch me do another binding. And uh, yeah, we'll come back because this is taking a moment. It's got to do some enchanting. It's got to do some processing of nuggets and all that stuff. So we'll be back when I get the uh, level two, the advanced compacting upgrade, and we'll throw it in our backpack. I lied. I figured out what was going on. Uh, so because I'm like, I was sitting here for a while trying to figure this out. I forgot. I got to actually filter this properly because this is a new recipe. That's why I have my bulk item filter sitting here with the plunk. Uh, we need to put our catalyst into this, which is our crafting upgrade. Bam. So then we need to go to our um, distributor. We're going to blacklist this guy now. So we're going to go ahead and clear this one out and add this one. And then same thing with our sender. We're going to clear that, add that. We can plonk this back down. And then now if I add my crafting upgrade into there, there we go. It's going to kick off. Okay, so I'll do this. I'll go do streakers and then we'll be right back. And ta-da, we got it. Okay, so uh, let's get out of here. Where's where's home? Old base. Give me out of here. Uh, factory. So now if we put this in here, I don't know how this works, but does it like immediate? If I put this in there, does it start compacting? Uh, compact only uncraftable. Match item works in GUI as well. Yeah, just just craft everything, compact anything, do it all. I don't want to sit here waiting. A 
allow. Just do anything. How do I get this to work? Because it started. Like, look, we got cobalt ingots and we got blocks of cobalt, which I mean, that's fine going straight to blocks. I don't care. But like, do more. We don't want a block list. Also, I would love for you to just be quiet for a minute. Okay, just just stop. Yeah, I can't do anything about it. Let's just let's just mute. Uh, what is this thing called? The mechanical press. Let's just mute it for a minute. It's going to drive me nuts while I try and figure this out. Mechanical press. That. Okay. Whew. All right. We're quiet. Perfect. Uh, yeah. How do we get this? Look, now we got 164 blocks of gold. I don't understand. Is it only when items come into this that it does it? But it did do this. So... Uh, and then like works in GUI as well. Do I have to like pick something up to like trigger it? And then as items come in, it'll do it. It kind of seemed to be that way. Like if I pick that up, yeah, I think I just had to like let it know that it's okay. Uh, so how do I want to do this? I mean, I guess I don't have a choice because it doesn't let me not compact to uh, not blocks. It's going to do blocks no matter what i'm assuming yeah only uncraftable block i mean i could block all of the blocks but that would be dumb so what i need to do is now from this we would need to extract blocks of the items which is actually to be honest going to be kind of kind of sort of a pain oh, i think about it so what we first thing we need to do is just just stop this that doesn't need to happen anymore we're going to get rid of the brass funnel it's done we can take nope we can take all this stuff nope Excuse me, please give me this back. Give me anything that's inside of there. OK, and then you guys can go into there. So those are going to be that. Then we can set up an extract on this and filter it with a like large filter, I guess. Uh, let's do. Pipes, can you please type for me? We're going to do a stack limiter. We need a filter. A high filter, yeah, and then a extract, which I think is already here, and it's set to allow forgotten nuggets because it's pulling forgotten nuggets into there. That doesn't need to happen anymore. Or it could happen, and then it'll compact. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. Go ahead and pull forgotten nuggets out of that backpack, and then we can, you know, we can we can reroute this whole thing. None of this is necessary anymore. Let's just clean up a little bit. Stable wormhole can come over here. Bam. He's going to chill there. Get ourselves a nice pipe. Get you out of here. Back into this guy is going to go the extraction module for not easium. Nope. The other extraction module. This one that's like floating around. There we go. OK, so that's going to pull out forgotten nuggets into that. And then on this side, we can set up the uh, the whole import. So then over here, we're going to filter and I'm not going to be able to stop this. Unfortunately, I can't. You know what? Oh, no, 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 no. OK, stop. Yeah. Give me give me that back. Give me that back. Oh, this was OK. I, apparently, I had this set up. We're going to set this to a loud mode. This is the one I was using over in the uh, oh my goodness, I pulled all those out, didn't I? This is, it's the one we used over in the undergarden when we were set up over there. OK, so we want a high filter module on there. You are allowed. And now we can set up our puller. Not puller, uh, our extraction module. Yeah. And there we go. So now it's not going to pull anything. Oh, or it's just going to pull everything. OK. Disallowed. Excuse me, sir. You're not allowed to pull anything, please. Oh, my goodness. What did I do? OK, and I double see what I did there. I set the extract on this end, not this end, which is what mattered. Right. So our high filter module, hopefully we'll be able to. There's like enough because uh, now we have Nebu blocks. We're going to have blocks of cobalt, copper, uh, zinc, gold, iron, forgotten metal. And so far, that's it. But if we set this to allow these things, ah, really? No shift clicking. It's one by one clicking. Gold, iron, forgotten nuggets. Now it should be extracting all those things. Yeah, look, it's doing the thing. Okay. 
So now we're going to get these blocks in there, which again begs for compacting upgrades in all of our drawers because then we'd be able to access all these things like this. Otherwise, we're going to have to, the system's going to have to know to break down blocks of these things now for crafting recipes. So we're going to have to break down blocks of Nebu, for example, which I'm actually going to bring that one over here because now none of our Nebu is going to process because we have blocks of Nebu instead of everything else. And then like, I guess it is temporary. It's only temporary. Uranium block. Yeah, this is only temporary until we get a better system in place. But it's better than what we had going on because this was way bottlenecking and causing a big old mess. I mean, we're still, this is our major bottleneck here is our encased fan and everything. That's why, and so we have a massive back stuff, stuff here. But overall, yeah, we're never going to run through all this in here. So we're, we're basically stalled out. But at least we're not stalled out here in the Nebu department, which is what I needed to get that going. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to teach the system, I guess, how to craft uh, these into this. And then now it'll be able to continue making Nebu ingots because that's what's going to be coming out of that thing. And that's basically our setup. So what that means is next episode, we are going to come back and we are going to work on getting ourselves set up uh, for alternative methods. Oh, yeah. Calks of N. Let's see how this works. Because I feel like I left this kind of an un unknown. So if I put this in here, okay, Cox of N, it's doing the thing. But is it doing a thing? We don't know. So as it stands now, nothing. And it's interesting because the item outputs never came into the output port. They just stayed here. What if I come up here and I right click this? Nothing. What if I right click you, Elder Statue? Oh. Okay, maybe right clicking the Elder Statue did it. Or again, it was just time. Here's what we're going to do. Just give me a bunch of that stuff. I'm going to go ahead and figure this out and we'll come back next episode and I'll give you the answer. Apparently, you don't need a lever, though. So either it's time or you got to click Elder Statue. I don't know. There's no information about it. It's very confusing. Where's my dank? That's not good. Oh, I shoved a bunch of stuff in here, apparently, too. OK, lovely. You go here and none of you belong here. You were supposed to go here. There we go. All right, that's that's good. I think we're good to go uh, with all of this. What is this ring? Oh, yeah, this was Ra's step. That was bothering me, turning lava into stuff when I was over there doing my void stone or whatever back at the base. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. So in between episodes, I'm going to go ahead and make this prestigious palm because it just requires Wicked Weave, which requires me to make some potions. Again, we have Mage Bloom available to us. It's just potion making is a pain. So uh, I'll make this Wicked Weave and then get the prestigious palm because we have everything else literally either we know how to make it or we have it already uh, so i'll get that going i'm gonna get the pink wither going we did the compacting upgrade today we did the advanced compacting upgrade today i'm gonna go find a gorilla apparently so i can sacrifice him we can get the enchantment library which then will allow us to get everything else set up for this whole or snafu that we got going on uh and yeah it's i mean it's kind of tangential my goal here i would love to get to work on this stuff and that's going to be our next step is getting mechanism going but if we don't have ores being processed it's just going to cause a cascade of problems uh later on down the road if they're not getting processed properly if this this back stuff that we have now eventually i mean some of these recipes require uh, th thousands of iron ingots when we kick off these things it takes a lot of resources even just for simple things and so we really need to keep our ores processing properly in order to uh, make sure everything else is going to flow smoothly. So we're going to that's why we are taking care of this now before it becomes a major problem later. And then I just get stuck without anything and it just becomes a huge problem. Um, so, yeah, we're going to we're, we're just we're taking a break from this. We would definitely 100 percent come back to mechanism. I already I literally have everything I, I, I 100 percent meant to do this. Look, we got crusher electrolytic separator. I taught the system how to make all these things, but we got to fix this problem first. So, yeah, that's where we're at. But we're going to come back, get our substrate. That'll let me get my basic tier installers and then even from there upgrade to higher tier installers. 
then we'll be able to uh, get mechanisms set up for all of our recipes and then probably start really diving into literally mechanism as in progressing through mechanism into nuclear physics, starting to get our turbine set up, our, all of this, all of this taken care of. OK, so that's that, that's basically where the Andrade is at with everything uh, so far in Enigmatica 6. We can now take the Wicked Altar Controller off there. And the Sanguine Alchem Amulet, I don't remember how to make this, but I remember it was in the Wicked Altar, so we'll see where that ends up. Uh, Digital Miner, Tau Oil. I have these pink runes and stuff on here because I never taught the system how to make these because they went into the alchemy table. Uh, anything else? Yes, Jetpack. Before we end, what is the next tier of Jetpack? Enderium. We need proper flight. I believe I have... There's a lot of micro crafting for this and so much that apparently it doesn't want to work. Start. That's concerning. Never seen that happen before where it, it says start, but it's actually not doing the thing there is. So I taught the system how to make the jetpack, right? And the nitro jetpack, we can we can learn nitro jetpack. However, um, yeah, look, it, it says this is OK. Enderium jetpack missing. It literally knows how to craft everything else but Enderium Jetpack or oh, it's NBT data going to mess this whole thing up. Oh, it is. Oh, you can't see it, but I'm dying inside uh, because look at all these micro crafts. In order to get Nitro, we have to get Enderium. In order to get Enderium, we have to get Spirited. In order to get Spirited, we have to get Lumium. In order to get Lumium, we have to make Neotic. In order to make Neotic, we got to make Signalum, Blazing, Invar, Hardened, and then all this stuff. And apparently, because it has NBT data, I'm going to have to go through these one by one and do the individual crafts. I'm also going to need to make a MLG YOLO Infinity Bucket again because we lost ours. It's easy to do. You just need Infinity, the Enchant, obviously, and then just rename it MLG. Yolo. They, if you so if you happen to have one of these and you lost it somehow, you can just rename it and it will work for the craft. Um, and then a hardened battery. Apparently, I never taught the system hardened battery. Oh, you know why? Again, lovely little NBT data throwing everything off. All right. Well, I guess I'll work on those crafts in between episodes, too, because it's not going to work. But we want a jetpack. I'm tired of not being able to like that's as far, far as I can go. My belt is not working well for this. And I'm tired of not being able to do movements and go where we need to go. It's been, you know, 119 episodes. I think this is and no proper flight. And the reason I want to go with Nitro is because the hover speed is zero. It's essentially creative flight so I can hover in without having to worry about sinking or anything like that. That's why I'm going, I want the nitro version. In order to get the nitro version though, we're gonna need a bunch of nitro crystals. 